Hello, hello, and welcome to Malika Cooks. Today we will try to uh, make shawarma. It's shawarma day, and for this, I'm using carne picada. I want to see if it will work to make shawarma, but um, shawarma spices are easy. It's sumac, um, garlic powder. Of course, you'll need a container. Uh, I will mix everything and put it in the fridge, so I'm using this. A little bit of ground cumin onion powder and black pepper and also turmeric. Okay, I put my turmeric here. So about for this quantity, I will use one teaspoon of sumac, two teaspoons garlic, two, uh, one teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons of onion powder and one teaspoon of uh, uh, black pepper and one teaspoon of turmeric and of course salt to liking but I will use about two teaspoons of salt okay so I put sumac turmeric and a little bit of crushed pepper you don't have to I just like it a bit spicy now I will put one teaspoon of garlic love garlic okay a dash half a teaspoon of cumin and then two teaspoons to of garlic i'm using one and a half i'm using half the quantity of meat because it's a lot of meat it's two pounds point ten or twelve and now um black pepper half a teaspoon and salt to your liking so i'm going to use probably about one and a half teaspoon course you do the salt the way you like it you can add dry mint and dry parsley um i'll see if i have them i'll add them if not if you don't have them you don't have to um and then i will let it sit and marinate with this in the fridge um for an hour and you know minimum so that it absorbs the flavors of course i will add about one teaspoon of olive oil extra virgin olive oil Voila, that's it. I'll let it marinate and then I will toss it in the air fryer. You can use it, um, you can uh, put it in the oven or of course you can use a normal grilling pan. Put a little bit of oil on the grilling pan and grill it on the pan on the stove. But I will use the air fryer. I want to try the air fryer for shawarma for the first time. Hello, so this is the marinated shawarma. It marinated overnight. I decided to um, actually uh, grill it on the stove because that will be more flavor. I wanted to save the flavors. So directly there is oil in it. I don't need to add oil. in the pan there while the shawarma meat um, is cooking I usually cut peppers and onion but I'm glad I left the shawarma to marinate overnight yesterday I went shopping and I found this plant um, pepper and onion so hey life is easy in the USA I'm gonna use it and uh, save me some time. I will use one third of uh, the bag. So it's about, I would say a cup of pepper and onion blend. To the shawarma, I added a dry mint that you see, about um, half a teaspoon. You can never go wrong with mint. And then I actually crush it with my own palms and I do what my mom does. Ah, smell my palm because it's very relaxing so when we are stressed my you know my mom would make us uh, grind mint and then <sighs> smell our palms because they will save that smell of the mint uh, or she would give us um she would give us uh, fresh mint to uh, sniff on and she would make us mint tea also to relax us and calm us.
Uh, if you, I will also add dry parsley. If you have fresh fresh parsley, go for it. I'm using the dry parsley, but fresh parsley is the best. It gives it flavor. Uh, I would say about um, one big tablespoon, two tablespoons for this amount of pars uh, fresh parsley. Go for it. This is how the shawarma should look like. Okay, let me just show you. It's really cooked, it smells very good. I can smell um, the mint and all the flavors, the turmeric okay, that I put in there, the sumac. Um, I will transfer it to a dish and uh, I will use the same pan without cleaning it. I need all of those juices and flavors and uh, toss the pepper and the green uh, or onions right in it. Okay, straight away, I'm gonna, like I said, one third of the bag. That's the amount I need. And you see, straight on the juices. You see here, I didn't even bother thaw the veggies all the way through. Doesn't matter. So, and I'm gonna use all of that flavor the spices, the crushed mint for my shawarma. Um, I will cook these for, I would say, five minutes max. The onions and peppers are ready. This is the consistency I'm looking for. They absorbed all the flavors. I didn't add any spices except from some salt. Okay, well, like I told you, life is simpler in America. So I have already uh, made hummus. Of course, I will add to it tahini because um, there isn't enough tahini in this hummus. And of course, I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon to it because there isn't enough of lemon in this hummus. And of course, I'm going to add to it olive oil because there isn't any olive oil in this hummus. Okay, and thank God for... Uh, easiness i have my whole wheat pita bread already made i bought them store made i will warm them up put mix this 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 and this together put them on my flat bread i'll show it to you when i'm assembling put the shawarma meat that i made the veggies and then yum 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 enjoy so i warmed up my pan a frying pan I tossed my already made store bought whole wheat pita bread, warm it up, not cooking it, warm it up, and then I will stuff it with all the goodies. I keep turning the bread. Look, it's it's already fluffy. It's ready. Okay, so I have my pita bread. I open it up. Now I will take the hummus. This is for my kids. Uh, for me, I will make it a bit spicy. So spread hummus, generous amount of hummus. And then of course, tahini, generous amount of tahini. Okay, mix it with that hummus, a dash of lemon juice, very good. Now the meat, put the meat, shawarma, shawarma meat. Now the green pepper, the red pepper, and the onions that we toasted. And of course, some Kalamata olives. Yeah, olives. More olives. Olives are good. Now I'm going to add a drizzle of olive oil. And voila! That's my sandwich. 
has all the goodies. You can also put, um, you can put hummus on the side too. My child doesn't like hummus on the side, so you can put feta cheese. Well, you can be creative. We're watching calories. We're not putting feta cheese, but it can be enjoyed as such. And also uh, fresh tomatoes. I forgot the fresh tomatoes. I got my fresh tomatoes and they are in my sandwich and I'm ready to enjoy it. Yum, yum, yum. Look at this beauty, guys. Look at it. My shawarma sandwich. Shawarma sandwich. Bon appétit. Mm. I just had a bite of my shawarma sandwich. Mm, my mouth is full. I'm sorry. It's very yummy. I hope that you um, try it and uh, enjoy it the same way I am with all these goodies. Um, with all these goodies, um, please uh, let me know how your sandwich turned and uh, subscribe. Mm, I'm still eating. I'm sorry. Subscribe, like and share, please. And um, thank you, shukran, merci, gracias, grazie.